Hello, I'm Bill Shires, Director of Market Development at Stone Age Water Blast Tools. This presentation is about selling Stone Age tools in the marketplace. The topic of this presentation is going to be covering two of our applications, both surface preparation and tank cleaning. The tools that we're going to cover in this presentation include our Barracuda shotgun tools, our Spitfire shotgun tools, tools like the SG30, which are part of our automated equipment uh, packages, both self-powered and then also our air or hydraulic powered SG40 through 70s and the UH40 and 50 packages. So when we are focused on uh, surface preparation tools, there are two options to start with. There are air powered guns or dump style guns. Please remember and note that Stone Age does not offer either one of these guns, we just offer the tools that apply to them. For the air-powered versions, these shotgun tools rely on compressed air to drive a rotating head. This allows for the head to be made with a wide variety of nozzle locations, which can be beneficial in some applications. It also allows for adjustable speed of the rotating head. The downside is that providing and maintaining the compressor and the gun itself is costly and time-consuming. The other style, thumb-style guns, they're more commonly found in the industry mainly due to cost, portability, and reduced maintenance. Stone Age has fo focused its product development for these styles of guns. Note that the jetting patterns are more limited due to their nozzle location needing to generate the required torque to rotate. However, the advantages of using these greatly outweigh the air-powered guns. There's just a lot less equipment to maintain and the weight is a lot less and it's also much more portable. So as I go through this presentation, I'm going to do my best to talk to you about selling points, speak a bit about competition, and then give you some variety of options for each one of these tools. So for the Barracuda, a tool that we've made for many years now, uh, there are two versions. There's the 2,000 to 20,000 version, and then the up to 40,000 version. So the Barracuda is a speed controlled tool. It's lightweight, and it's very competitively priced. With regular maintenance, the tool is very reliable, and the jetting pattern seems to be the most widely productive and accepted setup. The high-pressure seat and seal are very inexpensive. The Barracuda tools are available with two-port or four-port options. The two-port version is a quarter-inch NPT nozzles, and the four-ports are eighth-inch nozzles. You can always plug two of the four-port version and use only two. That gives you a little bit more flexibility and versatility out of your tool. Choosing between them is a consideration about hitting power versus two or four jets. We also feel that the seats and seals for these tools are inexpensive and easy to replace. The Spitfires, we feel, are also competitively priced. We designed this tool to actually replace the Barracuda initially. However, uh, we've got champions and believers in both types of tools, and they have their differences and uh, their benefits, uh, individual benefits. So with the uh, Spitfire, it's lighter, smaller, has no seals or fluids, and it doesn't have speed control either. It is a bit less expensive, however the lack of speed control means it is not the best tool for all applications. Therefore, we offer both tools, and you'll find we have champions for both. The Spitfire has two head accessory options, the shield option, which offers excellent protection from being swung into objects, but debris can build up, preventing the rotation. We also have the bumper version, which eliminates that concern, but it doesn't provide as much external protection from being uh, hit from the side. Some of the other options there is uh, the NPT or medium pressure. So how you adapt this from, say, up to uh, the standard uh, NPT, it comes with a 916 medium pressure inlet, but you can switch over to the NPT by adding an adapter to it, either half or three-eighths. Now we also offer the 40K Barracuda. We've had it out for several years. And our previous versions uh, for this Barracuda had inconsistent high pressure seal life. People can get anywhere from four or five hours up to 40 hours of seal life on there. And a lot of that depends on a lot of, a lot of issues that are out of our control. How often uh, an operator is on and off the dump valve or the temperature of the water, the cleanliness of the water, that kind of thing. But we put considerable effort into redesigning a new cartridge that can get us up to a consistent 80 hours of seal life. And we feel that that uh, has got to be uh, the minimum to have the most successful 40k tool on the market. Uh, with that new design, 
uh, we now can rate this tool up to 3,000 bar, which is very important for our European clientele, where the pumps there are rated up to that 3,000 bar, which is a bit over 40,000 psi for our American market there. Overall, the tool is rated from five to seven and a half gallons a minute, and uh, we also offer two additional versions of this. We have the low flow model, and then we have the extra low flow model. So now we offer a range that goes down to as little as 1.7 gallons per minute. So the who benefits from that are operators that are going to use one pump and split it up into two or three uh, continuous simultaneous operations. And uh, they do make diverter valves that allow you to, one operator to let go of the gun and it doesn't put too much pressure or back thrust on, the, uh, on his colleague while they're in simultaneous operation. So just know we've got uh, three different versions and uh, we handle anywhere from 1.7 up to 7.5 gallons per minute. So how do I decide which Stone Age tool to use? Well, it, the difference between Barracudas and Spitfire is all about the, the rotation speeds. And so uh, the Barracuda, which rotates slower, has harder hitting jets because it's about dwell time. Uh, the longer the jets have to do work in a concentrated area, the deeper it's going to cut. So for thicker and denser materials, the Barracuda is your choice. If you have thin hard coatings to remove, the Spitfire is an optimal tool. Uh, you'll get a lot more productivity out of a tool spinning faster when it's a thin, harder uh, coating removal. Now, the Spitfire and the Barracudas have different maintenance requirements. The Barracuda is a little more maintenance heavy. Uh, we, you saw the previous pictures of the seal designs and the cartridges. Spitfires are not entirely maintenance free. It's really critical that after each job you blow a common lightweight oil like a WD-40 into the tool so that corrosion uh, doesn't happen while the tool is not in operation. Now, we feel that we have the most market share to gain uh, in the 40K market uh, just uh, due to the inconsistent seal life. And so we've collected all that input and many folks are switching, uh, had switched over to the Hammelman's 40K RD tool, which is heavier and more expensive, but it does get that 80 to 100 seal life, um, 80 to 100 hours of seal life. So uh, the development of these cartridges uh, is great for now. We're also looking at doing an all new 40K uh, Barracuda tool, which will be sometime in 2016. Now we're on to our self rotating assemblies. What you see here is the SG30. It's a self rotating manifold. Uh, we've got the forearmed uh, assembly on there as an optional item. The speed of rotation is matched to your pump's pressure and flow rate by setting the arms in the correct position. And so the chart there on the lower right shows your flow across the top and the pressure across the left. You'll take that chart and as you go to uh, read across it there, let's say we had 20,000 psi at 20 gallons a minute, you would use four of the 0.035 orifice diameter jets and you would bend two of the arms to seven degrees. Not much at all. You can see how we're referencing that in this chart here. These two arms across the left and the right will stay at direct up and down, zero degrees. We'll take these two arms and move them to seven degrees. So you use an angle finder, which is commonly found in machine shops, to, to get that change. And that allows you to get the optimum speed of rotation. And so at, you'll notice at the bottom of the chart that we're looking for about 1,000 RPM. Okay, so you have a whole range here from four degrees up to 15 degrees and then your jet sizes to do the arrangement with. This type of machine is or equipment is designed to go to all kinds of different machines out there in the industry and so you can contact our solutions team uh, to talk about how to best adapt that to your particular situation. They're also available in 15 and 20,000 psi. We switch out the swivel which then has different inlet connections to adapt to for the different pressures. Now we're moving on to the powered rotating devices. So we can do anything from 2,000 to 40,000 PSI, air or hydraulic, and you can do uh, different types of head options. So at the bottom of the page there you can see that we have a single lance option, we have a two-arm option, and we have a four-arm option. All these are interchangeable with your connection to your different high-pressure swivel. This is a hydraulic motor pictured there. This allows you to have a viewport and check the tension on the belt that connects the high pressure swivel to the driving motor here. And all this is pictured on our blast track type of rail, which is a very common way for us to move away from 
shotgun cleaning and going into completely automated solutions for folks in, in all kinds of different ways. Here's some pictures of those different types of options. In the top left here is our bundle blaster display. Over to the right is a conveyor cleaner. Here's what we uh, term now as a bundle blaster, but it can be used in all kinds of different ways to cover a large surface area. Using our blast track rails, this can go in an X, Y, and Z function. And again, any pressure, any flow. So that leaves us with the end of the surface preparation uh, section of the presentation. Now we're going to step into our tank cleaning uh, section. We've been through several iterations of 3D tools over the years, and we're really proud of our latest iteration, uh, the Taurus family. So we have both the Taurus 130 and the Taurus 200. We also have some examples of positioning tools here and some of our deployment systems, uh, some of our automated equipment that's now being adapted to 3D tank cleaning. We feel that uh, when you stack up our 3D tools against other competitors in the market, there must be at least four or five other competitors in the market. We feel we're very competitively priced. The continued advancements we've made with the Taurus has made them very durable. They're made out of solid steel, stainless steel pieces. So when this drops or it gets swung into a wall, it doesn't affect the performance. We have very simple external speed control. So these ports here allow you to swing it to the left to slow it down, turn this to the right with a screwdriver and you can increase it. Uh, you can go somewhere in the middle also. So real quick and easy for a guy to adjust his productivity on the fly while doing water blasting work. We have different connectors here for adapting to different PSI ratings. So you can do NPT or medium pressure. And then these manifolds can bolt on and off to change to different flow ratings. The TR200 is the highest horsepower rated tool out there. It's uh, in the neighborhood of 220 gallons per minute as a max. I'll get to a little bit here and show you pictures how this can be adapted to the ABX 500, which is a hose handling system, but it's great for adapting for torses, raising and lowering inside of tanks. And all of this 3D tank work removes operators from the dangers of high pressure water and being inside of confined space uh, uh, tasks, which uh, is a much safer and, and you don't need to have uh, permits to do the kind of work. Now, an interesting thing about how we design the torus is, is about the rotations. And so when you stack up the torus and the number of rotations it takes, it can be a big advantage for those folks who have a lighter duty tank to clean. Competitors on the market have a very tight rotation, which is something very similar in appearance to this graph here on the right, where each successive pass is very close to the next one. So if you have an easy tank to clean, you're still forced to do a higher number of rotations to get the entire tank cleaned. Well, these are the numbers for the torus. So after 19 rotor rotations, after 90, and after 217 rotor rotations. So in an easier to clean application, the torus is actually going to have a quicker, more productive tank cleaning setup than our competition. It's interesting things to think about. Uh, we're getting into the weeds and knee deep into the engineering here of these tools, but wanted to let you folks know that there are differences and advantages for Tauruses over the competitors. Now we'll talk about positioning tools for those 3D Taurus tools. So we have simple booms there on the left, which are a manway plate cover with a viewport and a pivot ball assembly. And this pivot ball assembly allows you to get different degrees of rotation within the tank. Once you loosen this, this allows you to swing from left to right, and then you lock it back down. This version is the hose version, which allows an operator to slide a hose through the tubing and lower the tool down. This one is rigid steel plumbed directly to the tool, and you can put 45 degree bends in this to get over swing around to the different portions of the tank. We also have telebooms, which are gravity fed, so an operator can let the winch out here and it feeds the tool down to the tank and you can swing it around and get a bit of articulation around our, uh, paddles and uh, uh, posts that are in the way. Finally, we have the AutoBox 500, a tool that's from our pipe cleaning section. But as I mentioned before, you can put this over a tank and then you can lower and do cycles of cleaning at different levels but this replaces a guy standing over the tank and feeding the hose down in. So you get a much more consistent and completely hands-free uh, tank cleaning support system there.
we have two different pictures here and I always I can't never emphasize enough that 3d tools aren't always the best tool for tank cleaning if it's a hard product to remove or if you need a high volume uh, even higher than our 200 gallons a minute we have tools where you'll take two arms and there is lost energy in a 3d tool where an arm is in the up position and the opposite is down on the floor and you're not really getting your optimum cleaning done you're trying to clean the walls of the tank well that's where these 2d tools you can have these arms extend out and then you're cleaning the entire time your jets are hitting the surface areas that you're trying to get clean you can also control the speed a bit better by having an air motor and gearbox it's uh, fine-tuned to adjust to the right speed for that job the trick is sometimes our access points aren't always in the dead center middle of the tank and so we've come up with devices like this that allows you to swing a tool over a 2d tool over and get behind crevices behind these and get it inside the wall there to get where a 3d tool could never clean so just think about it and know that uh, you can work with our solutions teams and we'll be happy to do drawings like this and educate you on what the best tool might be for your difficult tank cleaning application. So we put a lot of effort into support collateral. Our marketing team's done a great job with our dealer portal and information about our dealer tech manual. And so we have every tool covered that allows you to get all the specific information you need for your customer, technical details, competitive advantages, um, how to order the tools and the parts and so we, we strongly recommend that you get a hold of the the tech manual it makes everything easier for everybody uh, you're ensuring the success of your customers by having this materials here's a tool configuration telling you what to look out for all the parts and pieces needed for this barracuda application here we have a configurator based on whether you're at 20 or 40,000 psi two port or four port and we get right down to a package part ID which will have everything that you need for that tool also suggested examples and how it would look on a potential sales order here associated fittings and adapters that would be appropriate for different pressures and couplings to adapt to and then how to order and uh, make sure you're getting all the parts and pieces that you need here here we mentioned uh, the points that I discussed earlier about where to put the plugs and how to use just two nozzles and a four port head, how to handle the lance connections, your tool selection guide, how to jet the tools and how these work is again pressure on the left. Here we talk about the flow inside the chart. So this is your gallons per minute on the top line of each one of these rows and here's the appropriate nozzle sizes that go with it. Finally, we've got accessories. We talk about service seal, overhaul kits, tool kits, uh, optional cases, and again, how to get those added onto your order as well. We do the same thing for our Spitfire tools and uh, really for all the tools, uh, everything that I mentioned to you here and in all our other applications. So that completes uh, our quick overview about uh, surface and tank cleaning. Know if you have any questions at all, you can contact our customer service team on some of those things where it was custom. That's how you get a hold of our custom solutions teams. So thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you.